Okay, so we got the check engine light again. Um, this is a 2006 Mercedes-Benz C230, also known as the W203. Uh, the code we got using our, uh, just using my iPhone 7 with the uh, CarDoc app, app and an OBD2 reader. Uh, I got a code of P0410, which is secondary air pump not activated. This is the uh, secondary air pump, and uh, it does, the purpose of it has something to do with cooling the catalytic converter or something, I don't know. When you first start it, it runs for like a minute or two and then shuts off. So, had my wife start the car, listen for it, did not hear, it makes like a whining noise apparently, and I've actually never heard it, but, um, I did not hear any sound coming from that device, and I used this little gadget, which is uh, like a stethoscope. I still did not hear any engine noise from it. So, first thing I'm going to check is the relay. Um, I'm going to replace that and see if, hopefully, that's what's wrong with it instead of the the motor being out. This is your fuse box under the hood. I don't think it's located in that fuse box. Um, so the next place I'm going to look is the one under the, in the uh, dash here. And this this little I've already got this open a little bit, obviously, but um, this one's tricky to open. And the best thing I've found is this what I call the church key, which is a little device for opening um, paint cans. And you can you can get it in there, and it kind of hooks around it, and uh, makes that real easy to take off. Using a screwdriver or something like that, you know, you, you might uh, might scratch up your panel. And since it's you know right here as you get in the car, yeah, it's gonna come right off of there. There we go. Um, you know, you don't want to scratch it up or anything, so. There's the other one, and I guess there's, here's a little, ah. so we're going to take a look at this, and uh, hopefully that'll tell us where the relay and fuse is for our secondary air pump. Uh, secondary air injection system, I think is actually what it's called. Alright, so this is the little, uh, sheet that I found in with the fuses. I had actually already downloaded a version of it here. Uh, and apparently what it's showing is there's five different locations, well, four different locations for fuses on this car. Uh, this one, there it is, is the one uh, on the dash that I just uncovered. And this one is this one right here that's uh, right under your windshield wiper and it's pretty easy to get to it just has a little cover uh, and you, you take the uh, thumb screw out of it and it's right there but um, on the back of this is a list of everything that those fuses pertain to and I don't see anything that looks like secondary air injection system so I'm going to go to the one in the trunk this one right here and see what that looks like. Okay, so we're back here in the trunk and I always make my videos on Sunday morning. There's always church bells on Sunday morning, so that's just the way it is. I uh, used my little church key device there to take off that panel right there. It's just kind of on that wall. And uh, so I give you a, uh, where'd it go? They give you a little fuse thing here, fuse removal tool, I guess you'd call it. And uh, just remove that panel there. And there's your fuses for back here. So, not seeing any list or piece of paper in this one. So I guess I'm gonna have to go online 
see if I can figure out which one of these it might be. Um, it looks, it's a relay, so it looks like one of those boxes there. So this very well could be it. Well, here's the situation. Um, the relay for the secondary air injection system is in this, uh, the box here under the, in the hood. Uh, it doesn't show on this sheet here. Well, the list on the back is only for fuses, it doesn't list the relays. Uh, and on this diagram, it doesn't actually show um, where that, um, it doesn't show the relay. It, it should be right here. Uh, I'm already taking it out. That's it right there. But uh, yeah, if you see the plug-in, the, the three-point plug-in right there, that's where it came from. And uh, of course, there's the fuse right below it. You'll see the, the orange fuse right below it. I'll show a picture after I get it reinstalled. Uh, but that's the situation there, and the, the letter on it is O, and uh, this is what it looks like. Got a fuse here. Kind of tough to tell if these are blown. I don't think this is blown. Looking at it from the top, there's this, a solid silver line, so I think we're good there. Uh, this is the little relay, A00254221619. I looked around town for it, uh, couldn't find it. Um, some places just had a generic relay, which apparently this kind of is. But uh, I mainly looked for this number. I do want to do want to get one with that number. And um, one place uh, did have the generic version, but it was fifty dollars, and it was going to be at a different store across town. And I can get this as a set on uh, online at Napa for like ten bucks. So. I'm um, going to have to wait a couple of days for it, but that's the way I'm going to go. And in the meantime, I'm going to try to tear this one apart and take a look at it and see if there's a way, maybe I can just clean it or at least see if it works. And uh, when we get that replaced, we'll see if we can get this little gadget to fire up. Not sure what's wrong with it. I've looked over it good. I don't see any loose wires. I mean, that's the only wires right there. Um, they did take this unit off when they replaced the, my technician did, when they replaced the intake manifold. And that's actually when it stopped working, so there may be a problem there too. But anyway, uh, I'll continue this after I get the part uh, and after I take a look at this and see if it's fixable or not. So we got our secondary air injection pump running again. Uh, I went online, Napa online, ordered the part. Um, this is it, right? Let me see if I can get a good shot here. This is it right here. There's the fuse for it. Went to Napa online, ordered the part. The interesting thing is uh, this, this had a number on the side of it that I read earlier, and that number did not list as specific for this car. They had a different uh, one that did, that was listed specific, specifically for this vehicle, but I'd already uh, ordered this one by the time I realized that. So I went with it, uh, like I said, it was about 10 bucks, stuck it in there, put the fuse back in. Um, this time when I went to check it out, Instead of trying to listen for it or use the listening device or anything like that, I just pulled this tube off right here and had my wife start the car and with that tube off it'll make a very noticeable, almost like a roaring sound. It's kind of hard to believe that you don't hear it when the tube's back on, but when you put the tube on you can, it'd really be hard to tell that this is running, but with that off it's uh, very obvious that it is running. So. I guess that fixed it. I hope that fixed it. If not, I'll uh, probably add a little bit to this video. But uh, there you go. Hopefully that'll be, if it stops working, that'll be your problem too. And it won't cost you too much to take care of it. Keep in mind, this only runs when you very first start the vehicle. Um, 
So, you know, after it's warmed up, it's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to tell if it's working. You need to make sure the engine's, you know, first thing. Well, that's when you're gonna to wanna to check it. And, um, and that should fix it. So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. Um, please subscribe if you can. Thanks. What do you think? Should I go with that, or should I try to do a better one? Think that one's good enough? Don't care? Okay.